this little pan for the red guard to paint on, a roller. Another thing that I'll be doing that I didn't know about until last night I was watching video, some thin sets. So I'm gonna put that on the joints, and then after that dries, then I put this red guard tape on with red guard. And this is the most ridiculous thing I think I've ever seen. It costs $20 for this one little roll. I had to get four of them. And then also we ran out of screws, so need to screw in a couple more things here. So total dropped a solid $120 at Home Depot. We got a few more places that I need to screw in. We just ran out of screws, like with probably like 10 left to go. Annoying to have to rebuy some more because these aren't normal screws, these are backer board screws, so their only use is for this. So it's not like I can just reuse them. Unless I buy another house and do this again soon. So this weekend is gonna be dedicated to getting this place ready and just completely waterproofing it. It's gonna be a long process because I'm gonna need like three or four different coats and each coat's gonna need to dry for a day. But hopefully if I wake up early enough, I can do two coats in one day. So it's gonna be a long weekend of just waterproofing this, but hopefully by Monday, maybe Sunday, we can start putting the tile down and that's what's really gonna be fun. But that'll be in the whole before and after video. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. We've been working on this probably for over a week now. So it's gonna be pretty cool. Also, still have no idea how we're gonna tile it. If you follow me on Instagram, DM me any suggestions you have because I have no clue. I wanna do big tiles because obviously the bigger the tiles, the less you have to lay, which makes it easier and faster and a lot less time consuming. But also the smaller ones I think look a little better. I don't know. So if you have any ideas, let me know. The next step is to get this cement board tape and I'm gonna load it up on the joints and then I'm gonna put this thin set mortar on the joints. That should just help waterproof it and secure it. So then that'll have to dry and then after that, then I use the world's most expensive tape, this $20 roll. And I'm gonna put this on the joints with uh, this knockoff red guard. And once that's all done, We'll be ready to shower. We got our rain shower head right here, so should be pretty cool. I'm excited for this. I think it's gonna be cool when it's all done. Tough project, a lot harder than I thought, but when it's all said and done, it's gonna be worth it. much longer than I thought. I feel like I said that about every project. Every project I think it's gonna be quick and easy. Just wipe a little thin set on there. No, that took like three hours. I don't know why. Maybe I'm just not as fast as most people, but whew, that took a while. But now I think it's like, what time is it? It's already four o'clock, so I don't know if I'm gonna have time for this to dry and then put a layer of red guard on it. So I might have to wait till tomorrow, get up early tomorrow morning, put the first layer of red guard on and then late tomorrow night. But we'll see, since it's four o'clock, that's gonna be pushing it to try and get this to dry. So just to be safe, I think we're gonna wait till tomorrow. One thing I'm not super happy with is the way that this thing sticks out. I wish it was completely flush, because it's gonna be tough to do uh, the tiling up this way and that way rather than just there and then there. I think it's gonna be a pain in the butt.
dog poops on our yard a lot, so. Whatever. stuff all over my hands so I can't touch camera. Um, that took way longer than I thought. Was a pain in the butt. It's probably like, I don't know, 4 o'clock by now. It is 4.30 and I just got this green stuff all over my phone trying to touch it. So, now I gotta pick this off and that's where the real fun begins. I still have to do the floor, but there's so much mess and dirt on it that I'm gonna have to wait for this to dry so that way I can sweep it up. I don't want to sweep everything up right now and get dust kicked up on this while still drying. So I'm just gonna pick my fingers, get all this goop off. Now I just gotta wait for it to dry so I can get the floors done. Three coats should be enough for this and then we can start the fun stuff. And this is like the boring nitty gritty stuff. The times where it's kind of boring, not super exciting, like at least on demo day. Demo day is super hard but it's fun. Like it's really fun to tear up concrete. Painting? I hate painting. Painting is like my least favorite thing. And this is painting to like an extreme because it's so messy. Alright, just finished up watching paint dry and now it's time for round two. Tried my best to clean this off so that way I can reuse it. And I'm going to see if I have another one in the garage. Should have one around here. I don't know. It's such a mess and so unorganized. Nothing there. Paint. Brushes and rollers. Oh yeah, look at that. First things first, I'm gonna get the ground all cleaned up. This definitely needs to be waterproofed. I was seconds away from painting that floor. Not even thinking that if I paint the floor, I can't paint the wall. Plaint. I can't paint the walls. All right, so update, not painting the floors now. I'm gonna paint the walls. I'll do the floors after like everyone else does. Two, I had to put the chicken back in. It was completely pink and raw when I cut into it. I do that all the time. That's the hardest part about being a chef is cooking chicken. Cause steak, I can cook it, and if it's a little raw, well, you know what? You can eat your steak raw, but chicken, you get salmonella. But there's my bro. He's eating good. My man eats. No, not the floors. But being a jerk, eat it on the plate. Put it on the plate. All right, I got a mountain dishes to do, so I'm gonna get after it. I don't think anyone really cares to see that so I'll see y'all tomorrow for round three of paint why do I keep saying planting <laughs> round three of painting that uh what's it called aqua defense I think it's like red guard but different brand aqua defense painting aqua defense tomorrow round three 
This is why you always clean up after yourself instead of just letting things go by the wayside. And when you don't clean up after yourself, things get all crusty and get ruined and cost you money because then you gotta buy it again on your next project. Luckily these things aren't too expensive, but just the principle. I should be cleaning up after myself and I could reuse all this stuff, but Nope, I didn't, and all this grout just crusted on here from when I did my kitchen. So now when I go to the store to get stuff for the bathroom, just another thing I gotta add to my list. You know that song, the TikTok? It was never a phase, Mom. I'm coming with you, dear hey, Maria. Maria. No, you're doing it wrong, yes. I got your picture, I'm coming with you, dear, dear Maria. Maria count, count me in. in. An arm and a leg was just ripped off me by the establishment of Lowe's. 800 and, yes it was, $861. That's almost two legs and an arm. You're not worth very much then. <sighs> that pained me, but it should be enough to finish the job, so really it's not that bad. Probably less than 2,000 total. I can't even speak, this Jeep is so loud. It's 5.41. February 7th, if you watch sports, you know what day it is. It's Super Bowl Sunday, Ugh. and the Super Bowl started at 5.30. So I'm way behind schedule. Plan was to have this done, watch Super Bowl, but we went from Home Depot to Lowe's to Tom Thumb, got some groceries. Uh, took way longer than I thought. So Kylie's now cooking. I'm gonna knock this out real quick, and then we're gonna chill, eat, watch Super Bowl, have a good time. All right, let's go quick, come on. Enjoy the Super Bowl? Yeah. Yeah, Kylie, uh. She, Big she, Brady girl. She came in here and watched Love Island instead. <laughs> yeah, I don't know anything. Ugh, but, kind it's of boring stinky. Super Bowl. Busy weekend, though. Got a lot done. It didn't feel like a lot because it was just a whole bunch of waterproofing. Oh, Ranger got a haircut, too. Look at him. Yeah, skinny boy. Dude's looking so skinny fit. Boy. But that's basically a weekend of my life, trying to renovate my bathroom. Starting this week, Kylie and I are We're gonna- We're starting the tile! We really are starting the tile. It's gonna look so good. We got some dark tiles for the floor. We got some big white ones for the walls. It's gonna be great. It's gonna be a surprise. You're gonna have to stay for the next video to see what it is. Yeah. Because the next video- You, there. You. Hopefully next hey, video. you. You see you? You. Subscribe. Oh, let me get that fingerprint. Yes, next video, hopefully, if we can get this done quick enough, will be the before and after the bathroom. It's gonna be dope.